Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to Carpo Gaming and another Borderlands 3 video. The new DLC is here, the Moxie Heist and the Handsome Jackpot. And there's tons of legendaries to get out there. In this video, I'm going to be showing you one of the newer legendaries and it is a pretty freaking cool SMG. This one is called the Stark Embers Purge. Now this one comes with the red text. She's the only one who knows what it is to burn, which is actually a reference to a song called Those Exact Words, performed by the band Finch. Now, this is a Mollywan SMG. It also comes with 467 on the damage, 84% accuracy, 56% on the handling, 2.7 on the reload speed, 11.9 on the fire rate, so it's a very, very fast, 34 in the magazine, and 1.7 on the weapon zoom. 998 damage per second fire rate with a 19% chance. Now, where did I get this from? Well, this is actually a mission completion that you're going to get in your email from during the Pieces of Resistance crew challenges. Now, there are a total of five of these that you're going to have to get after placing these bombs on these statues. So, in this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly where they're located. The first one is located in the Spindification area right here in the Casa de Etimose. So, I'll load into the Spindification, head over here, and this is how you're going to get it. It can be a little tricky. You need to jump over on this ledge over here. You're going to mantle. It can be a little tricky, like I said, but just stick with it. You're going to jump over here, and then you're going to take a running jump over here. Hang to the left a little bit. You can land over here pretty good. Place that bomb, and you're down with the first one. You need four more to go before you can get your hands on this lovely SMG Legendary. All right, now the second one is actually located in the market district in the spinification. So we're going to head on over here, and we're going to fast travel to this location and make our way over here to the second location. Now this one is going to be located right over here. So we're going to jump up here. We're going to jump up again on the top of this roof area. Okay, like so. Get a little jump on that little ledge. Jump up here and, you know, boom. Go ahead and check that out. Might as well if you're up here. And place that bomb. Boom. We're down one out of two two out of two for the crew challenge We've got three more to go all right the third one is going to be located right here in the impound deluxe so we're going to load into the baggers berth this location right here because it's a little bit closer we're going to head right on over here to this location right here to blow up that statue load into the impound deluxe head over here it should be pretty straightforward nothing to crazy as far as the jumps are concerned to get to this location so blow that up and we're on to the next one the next location is at jack's secret so load into jack's secret and we're going to be heading to get that statue location and here it is right here you're going to make your way all over here to this statue right here now this statue can be located by climbing up this ladder now, once you're in this location and climb up this ladder, it is going to be a little ledge, and it can be a little tricky once again. What I did is I jumped, turned to the right a little bit, and mantle to get over here. Place that bomb, and we're down to just one more left. Now, after we gotten all of these, like I said before, you will be receiving this in the mail. It's a cheeky little way you can get it more than once and I'm gonna show you exactly how you can get it so the last one is going to be located in the middle area of the VIP tower head over here to this location we're gonna hang a little left and to get up here we're gonna just jump on the tables and then we're gonna jump up and mantle on these bushes shouldn't be too hard for you to do that jump up there place the bomb and that's pretty much it after you've placed that bomb, you will then get a trophy for doing this. And as well as that, you will get that lovely legendary in your mail. So, basically from here, you're going to head over to your social menu and head over to your mail. Now, there's where things get interesting. You don't have to accept it right now. If you want more than one, because you only can get one, what you want to do is back up your save. You can do so on consoles, 
by getting a zip drive, putting it into your PlayStation, head over to your save, and save all of your information to the zip drive. Now, once you have done that, you can basically go back in and accept this weapon. That's right, you're going to accept it after you backed it up. The reason why you're going to do that is because we're basically going to be giving it to second character. Now, this is if you're doing it solo. Uh, I found this very easy to do. If you have a second character, or even if you don't, you could just basically create a second character from scratch right here, and you could just basically have them join your game on the split screen. Now, once they join in on the split screen, you basically can accept that weapon, like I said, from your mail, and then you basically just going to drop it down for them. Okay, just like so. Bam! Now, after you drop it down and you have it on your second character, then you go ahead and re back up that save. So from your zip drive you basically are going to download all of that information back to your system storage and then you're going to have to basically do the last step over again head back over to that last statue blow it up and once again you'll get that email with the weapon and then you can collect it again. Now, actually, it doesn't take that long to do it. It can be less than five minutes to actually do this. So, it's not complicated at all. You just need a zip drive. You're pretty much good to go. That is if you want more than one. Totally up to you. If not, just do it regularly. You'll get it in your email, and you're pretty much good to go, just like so. And there you have it. You have your Stark Embers Purge. Now, the weapon is very, very beautiful. It has a nice little fire skin on it but how well does it perform in the end game well we're going to head back over here to mayhem 04 to the proving ground of the instincts because you know why not these are fleshly targets we're going to see how well this weapon performs now the unique thing about this weapon is you're going to be shooting pools of fire that does damage over time which is very very good now against these jabbers it does work it's a very very fun weapon and it's actually pretty good in mayhem 04 can't complain at all you should have a whole lot of fun with this weapon it's definitely a keeper and take a little time out today get this legendary add it to your collection and have some fun with it with the new dlc so yeah, that's pretty much going to end it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you are new to the channel, welcome. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you really want to help out the channel in the video, because it really does help, you can do so by liking the video. If you indeed like the video, and leaving a comment down below, I answer all of your comments and questions. So don't forget, I upload a daily video. So turn on that bell notification and stay up to date for more Borderlands 3 videos. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.